Hello, I am Hyun Soo Moon at Data Network Laboratory, Chungnam National University, South Korea. The other authors are Hyung Jin Lee, Su Young Kim, and Professor Young Sung Lee. Because of COVID-19, this presentation became an online video presentation, and I hope we are all on your it well. Now, I will be talking about the paper titled A Smart Speaker Performance Measurement Tool. Before we start, let's watch an event match. We are going to match Google Assistant with Alexa. The event is who responds faster to what COVID-19 is. Since the presentation time is limited to 20 minutes, let's find the result from my video. We only need to look at the first 10 seconds. The winner is Amazon Alexa, who answered 0.2 seconds faster. Can you do this comparison automatically? What technical components are needed for it? In this presentation, I will talk about how to measure it automatically and measurement and analysis results of various commands. Nowadays, voice controlled voice virtual assistants are embedded or installed in many devices, so it's easy to find virtual assistants almost everywhere. Users of smart speaker commonly like to listen to music, find information, and automate home IoT device. A voice control the VA service is useful when people cannot use their hands for the touch interface during driving or wearing gloves. There are two metrics for performance of smart speakers. One is command accuracy, which will not be talked about in this presentation. We are going to deal with the, the other one, voice command response time. When speaking a voice command to VA, a user expects the corresponding result within reasonable response time from the device. A smart speaker makes many connections to the crowd and its effect the performance. This picture is how the smart speakers and crowd works, works when a user plays music by using the smart speaker. To understand it easily, let's take the top-down approach. First, look at blue text only. When a user says welcome one, such as Alexa or OK Google, the module in the smart speaker detects the voice, pat voice pattern, emit the LED, and wait for the next command. The user usually wait for LED light, which means the smart speaker is ready for work, and says, the command. After the, the user says the command, the LED image sh to show processing and the start smart speaker's response. The voice command response time from when a smart when a user finished to say a command to when smart speaker start to respond. And the user feel the speed of response is faster or slow according to it. We define the timing events to measure the performance objectively. Timing events are measured from sound, video, and packet data, and they are easy to understand timed order. We define call start as the time when a user starts to say Alexa or OK Google, and call end as when a user ends to say them. Both can be calculated from the microphone in the measurement system. The wake-up time is when the smart speaker emits the LED, meaning they detect the wake-up word. We define indent response as when the smart speaker receives data packet, not act packet, from the cloud, 
which means it understands the commands. We define service result as when the virtual assistant starts to respond. Notice that the system service result can be varied from commands. It means when the response voice starts from the commands such as weather or such, but for commands of music, news, or controlling the lights, it means when the content started to play or a light start to be controlled. A smart speaker works with the voice service cloud implementing ASR, NLU, service, and energy modules. In the case of third-party voice services called Amazon Skill, Google Action Service, Content Providers, or IoT servers, the requested action or contents will be served by third-party servers. We do not know why the response time of voice command is slow and what is the purpose bottleneck of the VA service. In this paper, we present a comprehensive VA performance measurement framework that analyzes the timing events and the response time by processing audio, video, and packets. For the performance metrics, we define command response time intent translation time, and service processing time. We made, a, we made a system made up of three parts to measure and analyze, analyze smart speaker performance. First, the voice command player reads the predefined command script to smart speaker or smartphone in audio. Second, the data collector gather sound and video data from smart speaker or smartphone and packet trace in Wi-Fi from the home router. Third, the performance analyzer compute voice command timing events and performance metrics. This is a waterfall chart for indicating the performance metrics of the voice assistant. We can see the waveform from the bottom recorded in the performance measurement system. Above the waveform, there are the server connected to the smart speaker according to IP address and photo number. The blue and red triangles represent outbound from cloud and inbound packet to cloud, respectively. The further it is from the center, the bigger payload size is. Since the voice data is stored as, wave, as a waveform between 0 and 1, the waveform data must be calculated by wake up command service voice section. We calculated this with this with a three-step algorithm. First, we find the initial means and standard deviation of a sound sample. Next, we transform the original sound sample in the normalized disk square and converted them into zero or one binary value. Finally, we make a cluster of sound sample once values with the minimum ideal threshold of one second. This minimum ideal threshold one second is a heuristic, but it is it worked well in our experiments. We set up test beds at our campus, campus network and evaluated the virtual assistant performance of five smart speakers and two virtual assistants on smartphones. First, we used five smart speakers with representative voice commands of eight groups. All devices are connected to, in, to the internet in Wi-Fi. As the voice learning model depends on each user feature, we use the same account, location, and user configuration. The median and the mean of voice command response time of five smart speakers are 2.6 and 3.8 seconds. Among five smart speakers, Google Home Mini has the lowest response time with the average of 30.3 seconds.
in order to find the cost of the performance difference, we break down and analyze the intent translation time, service processing time. Both intent translation time and service process time were different for each speaker. In particular, SKT NUG was measured at 1.5 and 3.5 seconds, which exceeded the average of the five smart speakers. We investigate the voice command response time by voice command group to know which command is slow. News, music, and IoT have a long voice command response time of 7, 7, and 8 seconds, correspondingly, because of the increased service processing time. Why are news, music, and IoT group slow? First, in order to analyze the, the news and music service, we compared the music and news service used by each smart speaker separately. In music and news, we observed that the response time is high regardless of services or devices. The cost of this result is downloading contents from a third-party server or cloud after intent translation. In IoT, the situation is even worse. IoT has a big difference when using the API that the smart speaker can directly control. That is, when using the local control API and when using control through third-party server. Amazon Echo used the local control API to control Philips Hue. As a result, it took only one second to control. However, other speakers used the Philips Hue Remote Control API Cloud. The Remote API Cloud server includes an authentication producer through OAuth. This additional authentication and the distance from the cloud server are the causes of slow operation. Since virtual assistants are most common, commonly used in smartphones today, virtual assistants in smartphones have also been tested. We used the Galaxy A5 and iPhone 6 to match similar specifications. Compared to the smart speaker, the set of commands supported in different. Command response time was measured by analyzed sound, video, and packet data like smart speak. In general, smartphone virtual assistant were slower because they rendered virtual assistant MUI rather than simply show voice responses. Among Google Assistant and Siri, Google Assistant has been measured to perform better because there are many commands with normal speed that are completed in 2 to 3 seconds. We measure the wake-up delay from when the user set the wake-up word until the virtual Assistant wait for the command. In the case of smartphone, when a wake-up word is recognized, a vibration sound, and then a, a screen is turned on and virtual assistant app is rendered. The former is defined as wake-up delay and the latter as extended wake-up delay. We summarize the wake-up response time. In the wake-up process, VA does not interact with voice server which means that VA in a smart speaker or a smartphone listens to the audio and performs a pattern matching job based on the neural network model, which requires the first training data at startup. The smart speaker was faster than smart smartphone. It was almost twice the difference, especially if it included rendering. In this paper, we present a smart speaker performance measurement tool that 
analyze the response times matrix. Our tool play voice command captures audio, video, and packet data and analyze them. From experiment with, with five smart speakers and two VA in smartphones, we found that the long response time comes from voice command intent searching, app startup, and content playback. In IoT, we have verified the local controller is essential to decrease the response time. In the future, we will study how to improve slow performance in commands. In fact, we have published several papers on improved virtual assistant. It was released by ICCE and CCNC in January. So please look for them if you are interested. I will finish the presentation now. I hope everyone was safe in the COVID-19 pandemic. I think we will do well. All source code is up to the GitHub, and I am looking for an intern or full-time job as a first-year PhD student. Thank you.